Just the other day while I was teaching a class, uh, I demonstrated how to cut butternut squash. And much to my surprise, so many of the students in my class were thanking me because they didn't know how to cut one. So I'm sure you know other instructors may have their way of cutting um, the squash. But I thought I would go ahead and show you today how to cut a butternut squash. And then, if you come back to my blog next week, I'm going to show you a wonderful recipe that I'll be using with butternut squash. So first of all, you see that the squash is, um, is never, you know, perfectly shaped. And um, what we want to do first of all is to cut off the bottom. And you want to make sure you use a very sharp knife and have your board nice and stable. Now I have, for those of you who don't know this, um, I have just a damp paper towel under my cutting board and it keeps it stabilized so that it won't move. So I'm going to cut off the one end, that's the end with the seeds, and then the top. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut it in half because you see how it curves here. I want to be able to, um, to clean off the edges. So, let's get that. Do make sure you have a good sharp knife and it'll cut right through. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and scoop out the seeds from underneath here. This is really simple. You have kids, they may want to take their hand right in there and, and squish it out. And I'm just going to take my seeds and set them aside here. I have a plate. I've cut this and I've got my, my bottom there, my flat bottom. Let me take a paper towel, make sure my hands are nice and clean. I also washed my butternut squash ahead of time so that as I'm slicing through, I don't have to worry about the exterior being dirty and getting into the um, meat of my of my um, what do you call it? Um, butternut squash. So I'm going to go ahead. Actually, I think I'm going to do this. No, we'll do it this way. And I'm just going to take my knife and start cutting it. Now, a lot of people like to use um, just use a peeler. I have. A wonderful peeler. This is by um, Roslo. That's I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it. It's great. You can just peel this just like a regular vegetable peeler. But actually, I find that it's quicker, and I don't have a lot of time all the time. So I just like to take it and cut like that, and then I'll just discard those pieces. And I'm going to do the same to this side. And with it flat on the bottom, it's not going to roll around. So if I try cutting it this way, it'd be rolling everywhere. So that's part of the, you know, part of the reason you want to cut off the top and bottom. This also works with any kind of vegetable. So if you wanted to cut a carrot, the easiest way to do that is to just cut a very thin, um, cut the, one edge of it, and um, you can slice it without it rolling around. So I'm doing the same thing here. You see how nice and neat that is. Make sure you keep your fingers out of the way. Of course, you know, when you use the vegetable peeler, you're not going to get quite as much of the meat. Um, you're not going to get quite as much of the meat. But, again, it takes a lot longer. And um, I don't have, there's not too much meat on there, as you can see. So... So that one looks great. So here's how I do it. I simply make a slice. You can make them as thick or as thin as you want. I'm going to make these about a quarter inch slices. And I'm doing this because um, of the dish that I'm going to be showing you next week. Okay. So let's just do that for right now so you can see. And you can stack these if you like or not. And then I'm going to go ahead and make some slices through. 
another about another quarter of an inch. So that what's going to happen is we're going to have quarter inch cubes, okay? All the way around. Then I'm just going to turn this, line these all up together, and cut. Just like that. It's pretty simple. You just have to remember when you're doing the butternut squash, you want to cut it, cut both ends off, cut it in half, and then go ahead and peel it the way I've done. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of my butternut squash up, cutting it. But in the meantime, so you can see, I'll have all of my cubes cut evenly, and I can put them on a tray and roast them with a little olive oil on it, 400, 420 degrees, for about 20 to 30 minutes depending upon what type of oven you have. Or you can use it for any type of a dish. Um, you can also cut it into rings or just leave it like this. So come back next week, uh, probably on Monday, and make sure you check out my blog for an incredible vegetable tort that I'll be making. So until next time, uh, take care and happy cooking.